Hey everyone, it's another exciting episode of DVD Update. I wish I had some sound effects to go with that. But it is uh, your friend, comrade and confidant, Mr. Cinema Junkie. You know the name. Uh, today I went on a little out and about with my bro and we went... Uh, Went to that one place I went to before, the exchange didn't turn up as much as I wanted to. Uh, of course, there were plenty there, but not within the price range I was looking for. Um, there was one title there that I wanted to get. I had mentioned many, many videos back that I wanted the, Fant the Anchor Bay Phantasm release. The Anchor Bay release of Phantasm. Damn it. It's five in the morning. Forgive me. But uh, it has the original poster art on the box, and I really like that. Uh, as opposed to the MGM release that has like a picture of the tall man with the ball and stuff. So, uh, but that one was like ten bucks. It's not bad. It's not a terrible price. That's just ten bucks I didn't have to throw away on one movie. And I found a stack of videos there that I was kind of like, yeah, I'll get these. They're a buck a piece. But then after I thought about it, I was like, well. I might be able to utilize that money elsewhere because some of them were full screen. Like one was uh, Live Free or Die Hard. I like that movie, but it was a full screen version. I don't want to stretch it out to fit my my TV. So I passed on that one. And, oh, I don't know. Someday I'll come back with a vengeance, with meaning I'll have more money to, to spend on such things. But... As I was going to different places, I went to a couple pawn shops. Uh, I went to a place called Play and Exchange. Or Play and something. Play and Trade? Play and Trade, I think it's called. It's kind of like a, uh, a watered-down version of GameStop with better prices. Um, kind of dead in there, actually. I have some footage of it. I'm going to edit that into a video later. But... Long and short of it is, I walked out of all these stores with uh, six movies and a video game. And first up, I got this at Plan Trade. I hope I'm saying that name right. Uh, it's called The Suffering Ties That Bind. It's part two to the game of Suffering, which I really liked. I owned it at one point in time. And uh, I liked it a lot. It's kind of neat. Um, so this one's going to be interesting to play. I never played it. But look at the price on it. I don't know if you can make that out or not, if it focuses or not. Anyways, it's one ninety nine, <clears throat> And if I would have been part of the Insider Club, I would have got it for one seventy nine. But... I'm not sweating that too much. But yeah, two bucks. How, how could I say no, right? Um, if you've seen some of my previous collections that I have, you know that I do have kind of a, a slight penchant for black exploitation films. And I found a, a pretty decent one today at a pawn shop. Hell up in Harlem. I'm going to dig this one. I, I like movies like this. It's it's a part of... It's a part of uh, cinematic history. You know, it's that part that some people are kind of on the... on the line with as far as, oh, it's good movies. No, they're bad. They, you know, I don't... I don't get into all that. If it's entertaining, I watch it. I don't care what it is. So, Hell Up in Harlem with uh, Fred Williamson. Probably know him from the... Uh, the movie, the Robert Rodriguez movie, uh, From Dust Till Dawn. Now, a couple of days ago, I showed you I got Final Destination 2. Well, I found Final Destination 1. Why wouldn't I own that if I have Final Destination 2, right? So I got 1 and 2 now. And I think this one... Yeah, this was 250 at the pawn shop. I probably would have got it for a dollar at the exchange place, but 
like I said, the, the selections for dollar DVDs are pretty limited there. Uh, at that same pawn shop, I picked up Dead and Breakfast. And I remember seeing this movie on the shelf and wanting to check it out, and I never did, so I've heard some mixed things about it. It was good, it wasn't good. You always hear, you always hear mixed reviews on these kind of things. It looks interesting, and it's got John Carradine in it. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but can't be that horrible. Or maybe it can, and it's just that entertaining. Uh, okay. I went to a Cash America pawn shop first, and <clears throat> I went with the sole purpose of buying two movies. I got one of those movies because the other one was gone already, and man, was I, like, oh, just sorely disappointed. It was a Blu-ray of Piranha, and somebody grabbed it. Smart, smart on their part, dumb on mine that I waited. But, uh, eh, maybe next time, right? Win some, lose some. But the other movie that I went to get was, well, I'll show that one next. I did find this one while I was looking around. And I didn't get Piranha, but I got Jaws, the original. I know it's on Netflix instant streaming, but, you know, now it's a part of my collection, so it means more. And I love this movie. I really do. Now, the other movie I went to originally get with Piranha was this one right here. This little gem. And this, I think this thing is sealed. No, it's not sealed shut. Oh, well. Look. Yeah. How cool is that? Woohoo! There you go, Gento, baby. It's a Blue Underground release. I, apparently they released quite a few good ones. Um, I'm not too big on musicals. Uh, there's some that I've seen and I've enjoyed over the years. And as the years went by, I kind of grew out of them. I was kind of like, that movie wasn't that great. That movie actually kind of sucked. Uh, but there's one that stood the test of time with me. It's something I saw when I was a child, and it kind of embedded itself into my psyche. And ever since then, I've kind of memorized the soundtrack. I've owned the soundtrack at one point in time. I introduced my kids to this movie. They love the movie. I have cousins and family and everyone who know the words of these songs. They love this movie to death. And... Since I've been on YouTube, I've heard some people saying, I don't know what the point of this movie was. This is the dumbest movie I've ever seen in my life. Why, oh why, did they ever release this movie? Okay, okay. And it's not in line with anything that I've shown you just now, and it's probably not in line with anything I've ever shown you before. But I saw it. Uh, had a 4 for 10 price on it. 250 Duh. So, I grabbed it. And I'm glad I grabbed it. And I don't care. Oh yes. Jesus Christ Superstar. It's hippie-ish. It's crazy. Uh, the guy's got some pipes on him. He can sing. He's got that cool little rock rift going on there. Throughout the movie. What can I say? I know, I know I, I present horror and, and I present uh, martial arts movies and black exploitation movies and I don't think I've ever presented any kind of musicals that I know of that I can remember. But there you go, if you look in my description it says horror first but I like all genres and I do. And that's one of the other genres that I like. So, sue me. Stand in line though, there's a lot of people trying to sue me. But I'm going to get back to scarfing down this piece of leftover Giordano's. It's like a quiche. Look at that. That's solid cheese. It's cold. It's been in the refrigerator. So it's like eating a block of solid cheese with tomato sauce on it. But I don't care. It's good. Okay, all you Cinemaniacs, thanks for watching. It's your friend, Mr. Cinema Junkie, signing out. Cheers.